Okay, so let's take a look at solving an absolute value equation. So now this is just a nice simple one because there's only one set of absolute values in the equation. The very first thing that we want to do is isolate the absolute value. Okay, so now we've got the absolute value of 2x minus 8 is equal to 4x plus 2. Now, first thing you should notice is that we don't really, I mean, we don't really know what sign the opposite side is, but the opposite side can't be negative. If you ever do this where you're, where you're moving stuff over, now if you've got a variable in there, you're never quite sure, but if you move the terms over and you find that, that the absolute value is equal to just a negative value, there's no solution. Ah, but here we don't know. We don't know what we're looking at right here. But we got two, um, two things going on here. Either what's inside here, okay, is equivalent to the positive of this, or it's equivalent to the negative of this, and then the absolute values make it positive. But either case here, what we gotta do is check this out. So either 2x minus eight is equivalent to just positive 4x plus two, in which case the absolute value wouldn't change anything. So what we might do is move the 2x over, so it's gonna be 2x, move the two from here over and I'll get negative 10 and divide and I'll get negative five is equal to x. So this is one possibility. Now, however, it might also be the case that this is equal to that this 2x minus eight is equal to the negative of what's on the other side there. Now, if it was, the absolute values here would drop the negative and then it will, all we would be left with is positive four x plus two equals four x plus two. Okay, if that was what it was equal to. Now, let's just check out what happens if that's the case. That's negative 4x minus 2 if we put the negative through. Let's maybe bring the 4x term over. We'll get 6x when we bring it over to the other side here. Then bring the 8 over. It is equal to 6. So x is equal to 1. So here are our two solutions here. Either x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to positive 1. Now, what we got to do here is we got to check them, though. So let's just go up and, and just take a look at this here. If I plug negative five into this, I'm gonna get two times negative five is negative 10, minus eight is negative 18, which makes that positive 18, okay? If I plug the negative five into here, I'm gonna get four times negative five is negative 20, plus two is negative 18, but this side is negative, and that, that can't work here, so this actually isn't a solution. Okay, because the absolute value would make it positive. The absolute value cannot equal a negative value. Let's plug one in. Two times one is two, minus eight is negative six, but the absolute values make it positive. Four times one is four, plus two is positive six. So both sides become positive six. The answer to this question is just x equals one, and we've got an extraneous root at negative five.